a fabulous, fantastic, and fascinating day, my dear students. Welcome to Bamboo Tele Escuela. This is your school on air in Arts Education 10. I am Teacher Herzon Santos Cabanayan. Tune in to DWNDFM, watch through CMD Cable Channel 01, and live stream via SDO Kawayan City Facebook page. Kindly prepare your modules now as we fly high in the world of 20th century modern art movements. In all of human history, art has mirrored life in the community, society, and the world in all its colors, lines, shapes, and forms. The same has been true in the last two centuries, with world events and global trends being reflected in the art movement. There are different modern art movements in the late 19th century up to the 21st century. These are Impressionism, Expressionism, Abstractionism, Optical Art, Cubism, Dadaism, Surrealism, and other art movements. And now, we are going to discuss one of the interesting and most exciting art movement of 20th century. Do you want me to give you a clue? This art movement was inspired by celebrities, advertisements, billboards, and comic strips that were famous at that time. Their works range from paintings to posters, to collage, to three-dimensional assemblage and installations. Are you having an idea now? This art movement is called the popular art, or in layman's term, the pop art. Are you ready to learn what is pop art class? But before that, take note that throughout the discussion, you will be able to number one, use artworks to derive the tradition or history of the art movement. Number two, explain the characteristics of artworks produced in a specific art movement. Number three, give the role or function of artworks by evaluating their utilization and combination of art elements and principles. Principles. And lastly, discuss the influence of iconic artists belonging to the art movements of pop art. Without further ado, let us now start the discussion of pop art. Pop art is an art movement that arose in the United Kingdom and the United States of America during the mid to late 1950s. The movement presents a challenge to traditions of fine arts by including imagery from popular and mass culture, such as advertising, comic books, televisions, magazines, food, and mundane mass-produced cultural objects that were becoming popular at that time, which led to the emergence of the term popular art. There are different characteristics of pop paintings and sculptures. Number one, pop artists use common images from everyday culture as their sources, including advertisements and consumer goods, celebrities and photographs, and comic strips. Number two, pop artists reflected 60s culture by using new and different materials in their artworks, including acrylic paints, plastics, fluorescents and metallic colors, silk screen ink, canvas and rubber for sculpture, vinyl and photographs. This time, I want you to know the who's who of pop art or the leading artist of this movement. First one is Andy Warhol. Andrew Warola, popularly known as Andy Warhol, was the central figure of the American pop art movement. He became famous worldwide for his avant-garde pop art paintings and screen printings. He started out in advertising and was also a commercial illustrator and was highly successful. Andy Warhol referred to himself as a recreator rather than a creator of art. Famous masterpieces include 
include Campbell Soup Cans 1962, Marilyn Monroe 1964, Elvis Presley 1963, Mao Zedong 1973, and Jacqueline Kennedy, wife of John F. Kennedy 1965. Another leading figure of pop art movement is Roy Lichtenstein. Roy Lichtenstein was an American pop artist. He was born on October 27, 1923. His first painting in the style of a comic strip was a painting of Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, which he copied from a book changing just a few details. Lichtenstein adapted a commercial art style, showing everyday objects in a comic book style by using bold and bright colors. Prominent black outlines, balloons of speech or thought or music, and patterns of dots to create distinctive popular artworks. He also created artwork for Time magazine, commenting on important events that occurred. These are the most famous artworks of Liechtenstein. One, 1963. In the car, 1963. Both can be seen in your modules. Girl with Hair Ribbon, 1965, and Still Life with Crystal Bowl, 1973. Finally, the last artist for this movement is Claes Oldenburg. As a pop artist, Claes Oldenburg celebrates the everyday object with a keen sense of humor. He takes a banal object and transforms it into a sculptural form by representing it using radically different materials and scale. He liked the way a small object seemed much more important when it was a gigantic monument. The following are the super-sized pop sculptures of Oldenburg. We have Corridor Pin 1999, Spoon Bridge and Cherry 1988, Thrown Away Apple Core 1992, and The Flying Pins 2000. In order for you to summarize what we have tackled and learn more about the topic, I will play an educational video about popular art. Take note of the important details on the video, so make sure to watch. Traced by Aussie artists like Martin Sharp and Brett Whiteley. By the end of the 60s, pop art's heyday was over, but its legacy had only just begun. A post-pop art emerged. In Australia, it was called popism. This new generation mined past and present pop culture and even borrowed, or appropriated, work from the past. Pop art is one of the defining and most recognisable movements of the 20th century. Today, 
It's more than a reflection of popular culture, it's a part of it. It is now time to create your pop art masterpieces. You can use any mediums and resources available in your home. Just be mindful on the elements, principles, and intended subjects for pop art. Don't worry class, I will give you sufficient time to make your artworks so that you can prepare for a long time. Kindly submit your output on our next session. Please be reminded on the criteria of for your artwork. Relevance of the team, 40%. Creativity and neatness, 30%. And overall impact, 30%. Now that we are done with the discussion, make sure to comply your requirements before the deadline. That wraps up our lesson. I hope you learned something new today. If you still have questions and clarifications, please write it down on your notebooks and we'll give you answers soon. It has been a great day of learning and discovery that even COVID-19 cannot stop. See you again next week, same time, here only on DW and DFM, CMD Cable Channel 01, and follow SDO Kawayan City Facebook page for more live updates and information. Remember that education must continue amid the crisis. This has been Teacher Herzon, bringing education in the comfort of your home. Goodbye everyone and God bless you all.